The sci-fi series Eureka is shooting exteriors in Chilliwack, British Columbia for season five. Each time they come to town, it's kind of fun to get out and talk to some of the people who work on set. This time, we catch up with locations manager, John Alexander. So tell me a little bit about the job of a locations manager. What, uh, what does it entail? What is your... Um, so look at all this stuff. We have to get the pieces of paper that say it's okay for us to be here, basically, is like the broad stroke of it. And we talked to a lady over there named Nettie about uh, making sure that they know what we plan. And then we do um, a letter letting everybody know what, what the plan is. And then if people have sort of specific concerns or are worried about how that might affect their life, then that's when they call me and we, uh, and we talk about um, how we can you know, work together and try to make it work, so. How long have you been doing this? I, I've been in film since 98. And uh, I have been a, uh, first uh, as a production assistant for a few years, and then I moved into the locations department uh, a few years after that. And I was an assistant location manager for about five years, and now I've been a location manager for about five or six. So. Some kind of training that uh, is uh, kind of necessary? For most of the stuff in film, it's a little on the ground in terms of the training, and, and you learn as you go. Um, yep. I did some, some film stuff in, in university, so that kind of got me, uh, you know, got me excited about doing this kind of work initially and then uh, after that it's just really you know deciding if you can handle the, the craziness of it and the is it a high know. pressure job it can be yeah, yeah it can be depends on if you know you got a million phone calls coming and and there's problems to solve and you know you have to be a fairly good multitasker during doing something like this but you're kind of the logistics man on on the set what yeah. what's give me an example of a big problem you had to solve uh, that's a good question well you know it, Chilliwack specifically we we come here and we have to work out the ways to um, mitigate effects, you know, the effects on, on people who are obviously running their businesses here and do our best to address that, as well as have the kind of control that we need on a road like this. So that, that's that's a good one. Because obviously no cars are going through that. So. Not today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> And what about Chilliwack uh, as a film location? We, we're kind of working this thing and we're saying it's, that Chilliwack is film friendly. It is, is that true? indeed. Absolutely, yeah. Chilliwack's a great place to be. There's, you know, a real range of locations here. There's, you know, obviously the, the rural looks. You've got lots of great farms and amazing kind of mountain vistas and meadows. And then you come down here and you've got a really quaint little town center. And, you know, there's all kinds of great looks. Old heritage houses and um, lots of wonderful buildings that, that uh, it's a little, you know, out of the zone. So it, there's a, there's a lot here to make it worthwhile to come out and, yeah. and, and uh, take the extra hour to get to. So, yeah, we've loved it. Five years in, we're still finding stuff to shoot out here that's new. So, Right on. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing this, man. We hey, really appreciate yeah. taking a little time out of your day. Thanks and, for having us in Chilliwack. And go Canucks, go. No doubt. A little <laughs> tense. It's a big night. Yeah. All right, man. Take care. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye.